Sorry, I'm, I, I just came up here and started talking. Is that okay? Yeah, okay, good. Good. I'm happy. Hey, thank you. Uh, you say that because there's nobody else here. I'm the only ranger, actually, right now. Yeah, he did. Yeah, we sure did. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, I don't know. It's 6.30 now. Um, do we have a moderator for this thing? Is that what you're doing? Great, man. I'm Pete Svensson. I'm the head of programming, which means you're going to see me moderate pretty much every single panel. I'm not going to get to eat or sleep. <laughs> However, you guys are going to have an awesome time with these amazing guests. And when you're not at, the, at, their, at these panels, go to their booths where they've got cool things, signing autographs, photos, or they'll just be really cool. Like this one, who is hey. amazingly cool. I'll pay you so, later. Yeah. <laughs> So, the rest of, uh, we had a bunch of SPD people who are, I saw, walking leisurely, slowly. Yeah. <laughs> but we have, uh, I think Matt Austin is here today. Yep, Matt Austin's here. I think Chris Violet. Oh, there's Al. I see the blonde hair. There's Alicia. Alicia. Yeah. There you go. Here they are. There we Here go. are the rest of my people. Oh. Hey, there's, there's Matty Austin. Yes. There's Kelsey. We have Kelvin Henderson in the house. Yeah. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> you, you came to the right Look place. Look at that. All right. Waiting on Chris. Always waiting on, Always waiting <laughs> on Chris. <laughs> but we actually are waiting for Monica. <laughs> no, we yeah, yeah. have. Monica, Monica thought it was next week. <laughs> All right. Monica's like, huh? So, what is this? we have a team here that needs no introduction, but we're going to have them give you one anyway. So, everyone, introduce Hi, yourselves. Hi everyone, I'm Allie, a.k.a. Sydney Drew. Thanks, guys. Say your name. Hi, I'm Brandon hey. J. McLaren, SPD Root. We haven't, we haven't seen each other in a while, so sorry, we might get yeah, wrapped trying to up. Trying to catch this, up. You know, yeah. like, hey. I'm Matt Austin, sometimes Sadowski, sometimes just Austin, and I played Bridge Carson, SPD Green Ranger. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to happen. Mate. You know I'm going to say it at some point. <laughs> And not talk over Greg. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> it's all right. I was just trying to make a joke. Where's Chris? Actually? I was saying I was Monica Where's May. Uh. He was behind Yellow us. Ranger. No, I'm Greg Aronowitz, executive producer for SPD. <laughs> I tried to make it. Uh, Kelson. Boom. Boom. SPD Orange. <laughs> this guy, eh? This guy. You've been doing some crazy stuff on the show. Since we left, uh, yeah. this guy has been keeping doing, it warm for you. <laughs> <laughs> this guy has been doing some awesome stuff. I'm really All excited right. to watch. So, okay, gonna, well let's yeah let's get this uh, show on the road. So right. I'm gonna do a few you questions. Her then her you guys start. So first off, you guys had some crazy experiences. Yeah. So let's talk about the craziest moment you had backstage before or, you know, mm -hmm. during the, during events. What was the craziest thing? Backstage? Backstage where? Oh. <laughs> Behind the scenes, sorry. Behind the scenes. I was like, what stage? How about the first weekend we arrived in New Zealand? We were dancing and Matt and I smashed teeth and I chipped my friend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right before that. we even rolled. That was right before yeah. we even filmed and I had to go get my tooth fixed. Yeah. Yeah. So that was I was fine. <laughs> Thanks for asking, everybody. Yeah. Yeah, Matt took some damage. We, when uh, confronted when he was crawling through the mud, you ended up taking a... Yeah, Violette, wherever he is, threw me like, like, a, like a rag doll. He like, picked me up like bottom and top yeah. and flew me, like flung me into the doll. mud. We had, a, we had a, 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 a no Red Bull policy for Chris. Uh, <laughs> Chris also That's broke a real thing. The enti my entire glass stove top, <laughs> remember? And my apartment. And after that, we said no, no Red Bull for Chris. <laughs> and I love the fact that he's not here to defend himself. There he is. <laughs> hey. Yep. So it turns out we're we just talking shit about you. <laughs> Literally, they were. Clearly, I'm not a fond man. All right. I don't know how. What are you doing? <laughs> See what I mean? I don't know how Kruger would feel about blue. No Red Bull. No Red Bull for Chris. <laughs> All right. We're talking Hello? about uh, crazy Hello? stuff that happened behind the scenes, Chris Too much red right there? Too much red right there? Remember, uh, <laughs> so, right, anyway, yeah, go ahead, man. All right, so <laughs> next thing here, a bunch of amazing uh, suits and costumes. 
What was the favorite monster that you had during the, yeah? What was the favorite monster? Do you remember any of them? Oh, God. Oh, um... Well, like, well Brandon, you fell in love with Hydrax. Hi- always, the, girl, the, girl the girl that, that I yeah. fought. Yeah, you're yeah, always like the, I loved her. The bi- yeah, she was be- my favorite. Beautiful Hydrax name. was her name? What was the Hydrax. actress's name? What? I don't know, ask Chris. Michelle. Do you remember Greg who played Hydrax? Oh, Hydrax. Remember? I you know, remember the, the girl from the planet that had the uh, high, you know, oh. the, yeah. the jet stream, yeah. and only and I could figure you, it out. You were sniffing her shoes. She yeah. was my favorite monster person. <laughs> oh, I loved, is it, I want to say Mora, but I can't remember. What was the little Moira? girl? No, the little girl's name. Morgana. <laughs> Little girl. I don't, but we're actually we're we're picking people. You want to know like like oh, wait, like what monster favorite. guys, right? Yeah, yeah. I for one, you guys are all cool. I for way. What? I I kind of liked. Uh, Buggles. <laughs> wait. <laughs> Bugglesworth. <laughs> I remember Bugglesworth. Kelson did that Kelsen weird voice. did the voice for Bugglesworth. It was like, like a good idea at the time. Oh, no. <laughs> Try doing that through a fight scene for about an hour. There oh. you go. Oh, there you oh, go. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> like, oh, man. <laughs> no, it's fun. It's fun for like Buggles Worth was a good sign. <laughs> All right. Well, there's a Are bajillion of questions from the audience now. Yep. Um, line up over here because like there's that, way too that many of you. Spirit Red. Line up over here, Spirit guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I'll come to you if I can, but yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hi. Uh, my name is Lucas Hahn. I'm hey, from Lucas. Studios, California. Hi. Um, I've been watching Power Rangers SPD since I have a, since I had leukemia. I'm, I'm watching the hospital, but I managed to survive. It was so cool. I love watching Power Rangers. How and, long were you in the hospital for, man? Uh, for six months. I've been Whoa. in the hospital when I was 13. Wow. wow. Oh yeah. But, well, um, I had a, I'm well, in a lot of recovery. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, thanks for being here, man. Oh, thank in thank you very much. Hospital for with leukemia. Oh, thanks for making it out. Jesus. Yeah. I love watching Power Rangers. It was so cool. I even grew up watching it. It was really amazing. Um, my question with uh, uh, Chris Violetti, I gotta say, I love the, when he played the Red Ranger against Murloc, that was totally epic. It was so cool. Hey, thank you. I thought it was, I thought so, it was okay. I, I, gotta thank, I gotta thank Mr. Jack Landers there. He lent me the Morpher and he let me, you know, yeah. heroes come heroes in all, come in all colors, colors, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I remember that. I remember that. Colors. So cool. What's it, what's it? Do it for your fun. <laughs> but, um, you write Chris, that line, Greg? Do, do it for your no, fun. But um, Chris, when you played um, Sky, what was your um, favorite scene when you played Sky at the Blue Ranger so far? I have to, I, it's, it's tough. There was a, you know, quite a bit of, you know, some good writing for Chris, uh, for Sky's story arc, like playing an evil, Always an evil Sky. Always an ass good. We cut that shower Oh, you mean the scene. Wu-Tox? That shower scene, the shower scene was amazing. <laughs> oh, oh, you mean like what? Wu-Tox? The, the what shower scene? What shower scene? <laughs> you had a shower scene? <laughs> uh, Actually, I, mean, I would a, just walk. It's wa- tough. There was a, that, that standoff between me and my best friend with the bracelets that I got. Dwayne, oh, yeah. Dwayne's here. <laughs> Twinning. <laughs> Twink. <laughs> um, but no, I would say I would say the jail scene between myself and Murloc was pretty pretty epic to film at that like a, a abandoned base we were at or whatever. Hold on, guys. I I watched the show for the first time with my daughter's friend, and the episode that we watched was when you guys go to sacrifice yourself. Oh, in the plane. And the, yeah, yeah. And like, yeah. you, you want to go, but you're like, I'm going. And, you're, and then you show up and you're like, stubborn. You're so stubborn, Jack. And then yeah. you go in anyway and you're like, it's a one ticket. I always knew. Yeah. Sky always had way. a plan. Jack was just like winging it the whole time. You know, like, yeah, don't worry. I got dreadlocks. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> uh, Nothing's changed. Nothing's either. changed. No. <laughs> okay, hey, yeah, you're next. Hi, um, <laughs> my name is Dakota. What was your most favorite episode? Oh man. Episode SWAT. one. SWAT. I always yeah. come back to SWAT. Boom. SWAT. <laughs> SWAT was fun. SWAT, SWAT was one and the, two. The, our commander. Could yeah. the gorilla Sergeant do? Silverback. Uh, John Tui, Silverback. one of John Tui's many characters. Yeah. Um, I still think my, mine was uh, Chris's episode. Chris got all the good writing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Hence the shower scene. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. What about you, Greg? What's your favorite episode? I mean, it's t- I love them all. Like, uh, <laughs> well, there you go. I would, but for sure, I would say beginnings and endings because yeah. I really felt he wrote like. Them. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I didn't, you I didn't them. write them all, but I did direct them. Yeah. But I, uh, <laughs> I feel like, you know, we really got to know the characters solidly in the beginning, and everything kind of wrapped up really nice in the end, which I think is the goal for any show, but it doesn't always work out, and I think we kind of pulled it off, so. Yeah. They make me happy. Go ahead, man. Hi. 
Um, so during the course of SPD, you guys had to do a lot of serious acting alongside a guy I know I did. in uh, a... Uh, not, not it was challenging for me. Some of us did. Yeah. Um, so you guys had to act alongside a guy in a giant alien dog suit. What was that like? It was stupid. Uh, <laughs> Brandon was the most outspoken for sure about no, watching no, him walking around. After a while though, like, we totally got used to it, I yeah, feel yeah. like. Yeah, we did. Like in the beginning, it was the most ridiculous thing that I've ever... Once, remember, once, I remember that first scene we had to like run up into the command center <laughs> yeah. and I'm like, I can't do this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I can't... Well, I can't nine months of this? Yeah. Uh, but also, like, John Tui was so great. Like, he, he, he brought gave it. it. Yeah. He committed. Mm -hmm. Like, he, he would, committed. like, be crying underneath the mask. And I'm like, John, you know I can't see you crying, right? <laughs> he couldn't but he see anything. he would still cry, like, for us. He was, he was amazing. Yeah, and when he yelled, when he was like, Rangers, like, everyone was like... <gasps> yeah. yeah. So it was, it was, it was cool. Except once, when he started we, on fire. Yeah. Once we put out all the fires, I was going to say, it worked out the kinks after, like, the fifth yeah. episode. His, hat, his helmet uh, came on, uh, his mask, uh, it, was, it was a fire. Burst into mask. flames. A fiery death <laughs> for John like, Chewie was avoided. Yeah, hey, Greg, what happened there, buddy? Uh, Craig, you know, made, Craig well, made the costume. Rewire those it servos. seems like in different parts of the world, there's different kinds of power, and sometimes you don't calculate for that. And Not to the Power Rangers, Greg. <laughs> There is no different kind. Anyway, of well, but it was interesting because it did the animatronics. The batteries overheated because of the the different the 110, 220 power thing. Oh. And the first yeah, the first scene that he was in, though, he turns around, wrong. he looks all cool, and then smoke starts coming out yeah. of his ears. It was, was crazy. Like, oh, he was really angry. So we had I was like, Kruger's so mad right now. <laughs> I mean, he was he was a There's dragon. Smoke dog, coming right? from his ears. He was so a dragon breathing bridge. smoke. But instantly, you know, we put it out, everything was fine. I was like, all right, I need a minute to fix it. And instantly the producers were like, uh, we can't do this anymore. Like, we have to go to some kind of makeup. Like, just just put a makeup on him real quick. And I was like, what the hell are you talking about? Like, we can't just, like, I worked on this thing for, like, five months. We can't just, like, paint him blue and say that's. So you almost got, like, a blue John Tui. Um, yeah. Oh, that would have been weird. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, man, I hope we answered your question. <laughs> Hi guys. We're not first, like the show at all. Hey. Our, yeah, for, we're not first like of all, characters. first of all, I want to thank you all for coming, especially Kelson. You've been gone too long, buddy. Yeah, to gone too long, Kelson. <laughs> gone too long. My question is for Greg and Matt. Bridge could read auras when he took when he waved his hand in front of people. I no, was wondering. Matt can. <laughs> He did more than, than read. That was just a, that was and, not out of but, Greg's imagination. But I was I was wondering if Bridge had the similar kind of an effect like Rogue. Rogue would absorb people's powers whenever they touched her. Would Bridge absorb and sense auras if he was ever touched by his oh. skin? If anything touched his skin? We talked about this. We did talk about it. <laughs> we, no, Great we actually question. did. Really? Yeah, and I was just like, but well, why do we never talk about from. it in the show? <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. That's where the gloves come from. It wasn't so much that we were ever thinking about him absorbing other powers. Like he wouldn't be able to like get Iron Fist, like uh, like I can't. Sid. Iron Fist. But Man. but he could uh, he could like sense so much stuff that it would drive him crazy if he didn't kind of keep a, a damper. Wouldn't on it have been a great episode crazy, or, if there was one where like someone took his gloves? He's like going mental. Yeah. Yeah. Like what if he grabs somebody's bare hand or somebody touched his bare arm? It'd be too much. Yeah, too much. Okay, yeah. Thank you. you. Thank you. For Remember, coming. we're part of the Disney era. They didn't care about stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> so that we didn't that's have kinda, Saban That's kind of true. Uh, I'm Leo. Um, SPD in the Disney era Power Rangers was my favorite season. Number one. Um, for sure. Kelson, uh, this is a question for you specifically. Um, you were you are part of another franchise that I love dearly, the Evil Dead franchise. Uh, what was it like filming for um, Ash vs. the Evil Dead? Yeah, uh, I was awesome. <laughs> so, so a weird place to talk about it. Um, I'm a. Uh, uh, I mean, in terms of SPD, uh, Bruce Campbell was. A, no, um, yeah, uh, I'm a. I'm a huge uh, fan of the original movie, so it was a dream come true. I, I read the Necronomicon. I mean, yeah, it was. It was amazing. Thank you, man. Oh, and SPD's cool too. <laughs> Bruce Campbell was almost the Red Ranger, though. <laughs> uh, thanks for the Mr. Executive Producer. Um, when it came to Sky's dad and the SPD A Squad helmets, why didn't you just use the same as theirs? Yeah, yeah why, why didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, this question always comes up. I mean, <laughs> I've know, never been to a convention the, when this question doesn't props. come up. So no, grill him. Take him down. I mean, one of the things <laughs> we wanted to do is we still wanted to have the same color coding, but we wanted to have a difference between the two teams. I personally wanted to design and create all new original helmets, but there just wasn't time and money. Like this, All this stuff happened so fast. And we had a, a decent budget, but it, but it wasn't you know, what you would hope it would be. So Disney was just like, well, we got this, you know, container of old helmets, just use these. And we painted them, we added stuff. I, I honestly, if I knew then what I knew now, I would have done it differently. Because I would, didn't think that a million people would instantly recognize the helmets and try and connect the seasons forever. that they came from. Forever, yeah. yeah forever. <laughs> and by the way, I am Sky's father, so. Yes. Thank you, man. All right. Our next question is a good one and a very deep one. Oh, yep. shit. Hey, guys. Uh, my name is Jimmy. I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. And it's a huge honor to finally meet you guys. Hands down, one of the best seasons from Disney era. Like, no doubt. Um, we salute you. <laughs> I salute you guys. Um, one thing I got to ask, and this is for Matt, and I'm pretty sure everybody in this room wants to know, how buttery is that toast? <laughs> Question, man. <laughs> Wait for it. Shh. <laughs> no, oh, now really, yeah. It is the uh, most. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. Buttery is. <laughs> Why does the Red Ranger only have his helmet? and the other rangers don't. Oh. Because the uh, Red Ranger cares uh, uh, more. Oh. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Mike, Mike's full of goodies. <laughs> you brought snacks. I got candies. I got a bobblehead. I got blue shades. Can I have some candy? Candy. <laughs> Chris is going to live here now. Right. It's that, a good that's question. That's everything he there you owns. Go, there you go. <laughs> Greg, could you make me a helmet, please? Hi, um, my name is Grant, and helmet? since that situation yeah. happened... Um, sorry, sorry, my what's question, your name? Uh, Grant. Grant, hey. What's up, Grant? Uh, my question is for Sky, the Blue Ranger. Uh, what was it like uh, when you found out that you are related to a Red Ranger? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I think since Sky was born he knew his <laughs> dad was the red ranger but i mean uh, I he think, means brandon uh, you and brandon are related yeah, yeah. Oh, um no i think it was i think it was it was a huge part of sky's character i think that's one of the reasons why i was always so serious and i was always so hard-nosed and i always did everything by the book um because yeah i was living in my you know i wanted to be like my father and was living in my dad's kind of not shadow but um you know Fantasy. wanted to make him proud i guess like every every son out there now that my candy's all gone, <laughs> but yeah, it was uh, you know it was just it was part of his it was it, it made his character a little bit stronger I think to to have something to chase and, and go towards. All right, our next question. I remember you from the very first Power Morphicon. Yeah. I don't remember your name, but I remember you. So you've been a fan, like you followed it from the beginning, man. The real one. Hi, hi guys. It's great to see you back. Starting with, with you, starting with you, Matt, you've been gone too long. I know, I don't do these very often, so I'm happy to be here. We're now. happy to have you here, Matt. You can tell by the amount of tattoos he has every time you see him again. So you guys have the honor of being my first panel question. And, and that que That's and a lot. Darn, and that question is for the Rangers. What was it like to see your characters for the first time as action figures? <laughs> they didn't look a damn thing like us, and I was mad. <laughs> I don't remember when that happened. When did that happen? Yeah, like they came out. They were yeah, they, I remember yeah that. and they were like my guy yeah. had like shades. And he I, always I wore sunglasses. When did this happen? Yours didn't have dreads, but it was black. So don't worry about that. <laughs> Um, and, with, and then um, Mystic Force. I remember because when I when I shot uh, Once a Ranger with Richard, uh, the Green Ranger from Mystic Force. He was just like, check this out. And 
His, it looked like him. Exactly like him. It looked yeah. exactly like him. So like I was bummed, but he doesn't remember. So remember. like only seems to have affected me. The only reason I saw mine is because my dad bought one off like I don't know eBay the back then. Web. Like we weren't given the dark those. Web. So, yeah, <laughs> we had to like buy our own merchandise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And luckily, yeah. I had parents that were thinking ahead and Love said, "I'm gonna save this for you because one day you're gonna really want this." So. That's the only reason I saw mine. They, they, there's a, like a Red Ranger for this thing that you, like you just was, did like a Red Ranger thing, and then yeah, they have like a, yeah, you, you have. But like I think it's like thing. released somewhere else in the world. It's not here. Oh, it's like some limited edition thing. I in the think UK you can find it here though. No. So if anyone has one, <laughs> thank you for your question, man. I appreciate it. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks for getting us Starbucks. Hey guys, um, Decca Ranger did a 10 years after special. I know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I saw that. Um, if you, if it's Hasbro contact, it's a sensitive subject. <laughs> with all the talks what, about what Hasbro wants to do with the Power Ranger franchise, if they asked you guys to come back and do a ten years after or a reunion movie, and they even asked you to come like back, like a Netflix Greg, special, <laughs> and they even asked you, Greg, to come back and have just as much creative control, would you all do it? Only if Greg yes. did it. Uh, only if Brandon did it, and he's so busy traveling all around yeah, the world. Yeah, it's going to be based on this guy's schedule. <laughs> Brandon! <laughs> yeah, I would, to- okay. I would totally. It's okay, I filled in for Brandon before. <laughs> I believe it's called Once Your I would totally do it. Would you do it? Yeah. Let's yeah. do it, Are guys. Are the Hasbro guys A one-off? Here? Is there anybody so, here? Anybody get on your emails, get on your rep- blogs, <laughs> write somebody, make it happen for us. Yeah. <laughs> no, we'll do it. We, will, we got we- no say in this world. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we, we, we're, all, we're all in. We have to talk to Monica. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's, a, she's the final piece. Okay, right. go ahead, man. All nice right. outfit. Eli! <laughs> okay, I'm Eli, and the next question is for Greg. I was always wondered when I watched the series, how come when the Rangers are always unmorphed, they have powers? But when they're morphed, there's so many ways that they could have beaten the monsters Whoa. using their powers. But up they your never game, Greg, do. Up your game. I love this guy. <laughs> that is Greg? an intense question. Yeah, Greg. Well, I would say that because the suits amplify everything so much, they don't need to use their special abilities. Mm. <laughs> no? He's disappointed. <laughs> BS. He's literally he disappointed with your answer. Judges? Uh, <laughs> look at that. Look at that. The Thanks real answer question, is buddy. because when they're morphed, it's the Japanese footage, and they, <laughs> they, <laughs> they didn't have any special that's powers. A real, that's a real answer. So. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right. I took a photo and now and another it. really important question that I totally agree with. I know. So um, I've met some of you guys uh, at, at the panels. I just want to say SPD is, again, one of my favorite seasons. Thank you. Uh, one of the things that I super love about it is that female characters are treated very well. Sid, Z, Dr. Manx, they all got a lot of development. However, there's one glaring issue I have. Uh-oh. Are we ever going to fix the fact that Sid and Z never got color promoted? Oh. <laughs> 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 no, I mean, let's talk honestly about this. Um, all this guys, ha- it was a different time back yeah, then. All, it, I mean, it, it, but really, it, it, it was. Really. It, it was, it was only like 15 years ago, but, but still, it was a different time, and this has to change. Every single day, Bruce and I and everyone it's involved tr- actually fought true. Actually. to make everyone equal. Stupid things like, why can't the girls have motorcycles? And they were like, because boys don't want to see girls on motorcycles. Like, what are you talking about? It's like... <laughs> Yeah, I mean the the biggest. We really pushed for the, that. The biggest the fight that I think I won, all, like in sort of a way, was having a woman be a, 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 a Red Ranger, and we had to make her a squad. Which then, of course, everyone was upset because they're like, "Oh, of course we get a woman Ranger, and seconds. she's and she's <laughs> evil." And it's like, well, but it, it was a start, you know. But. Um, yeah, it was weird. Every step of the way, they were just like, "The girls can't do this. The girls can't do that." And, I say it's bullshit, but it is what it is. Hi, Alicia. Um, When you realized that uh, Rick would have to make your stuff wetter, what was going through your mind when you realized, okay, this is my expensive stuff that a robotic dog is going to ruin? (laughs) <laughs> this is my question. When you have that malfunctioning issue. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
Uh, well, it wasn't that enjoyable, I can tell you that. Um, <laughs> I don't really remember what was going through my mind, to be all, to be honest. <laughs> but I blame that on Greg, because Greg made Rick. And that was his storyline. So, yeah. Rick, Rick and Anything I had I some do, trouble yeah. there for a while. Yeah. But then he came to my rescue when I was in the cave and we became yep. friends. And I That was after and Boom and I fixed yeah. him up to Rick 2.0. Let's not forget that. Yeah. 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 The, 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 story, the moral of the story is always love your dog. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Hey, How's man. your uh, experience been in L.A. so far? Fantastic. Great. Great, good. Hey, my question's for Kelson, the first. Um, so with the episode of Boom, where you're Orange Ranger, was that written in? How was that experience for you? Because I know you've done series It's because he complained that. every day. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was, it was uh, an amazing episode. You know, I mean, it, uh, you know, Boom was a secondary character, and there was this one kind of shining episode where, where, you know, he got to be front and center. Uh, he was, was always front and center to us. <laughs> for real, for real. Break my heart every time you open your mouth. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, it was, it was uh, cool and, you know, it was funny. And, uh, you know, I, I felt like, you know, Greg was really uh, invested in, in that particular storyline. And it, I think, uh, uh, I think the, the biggest thing I got from it is how much it seems to have meant to the fandom to see, you know, everyone seems to love the Orange Ranger. It's really... It's really, yeah. So, yeah. That's um, I'm I'm proud to to be to be that guy. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. I think it means you know when people see that because everybody had special powers, but you didn't. So I think it kind of makes everybody feel like you know anybody can. Yeah, um, it was kind of. It was like you know, it was just a regular dude yep. who, who tried to be brave. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. What was the dynamic with filming Wormhole and with the other Dino Thunder Rangers? How was that? Uh, we had hated you, them. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> they were ancient, ancient, right? Yeah, it was hard. That was a hard. That was a hard episode. I'm joking, guys. They were great. <laughs> they were great. Pretty sure you dated one of them after oh, that. Oh! <laughs> well, there you go. If we're being honest, there's your answer right there. Thank you, Alicia. <laughs> it worked out all right. Yeah. Next question. Hey. <laughs> if you, great segue. If you could go against the Ranger team, which one would would it be? If you guys could fight a different ranger team, if the SPD had to fight someone of a ranger team, I don't know, Ninja Steel maybe. I'd fight Ninja Steel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fight I'd, I'd just punch myself. <laughs> I, I actually, I could fight Ninja Steel right now. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, He's going to trade sides. Okay, what are you doing? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there you hey, go. Uh, Robin Williams over here. My question, my question is for Allie. Um, I remember in one episode, there was one line I really liked in one episode. It was probably... Just one the, line? Okay, well, okay. It, it was pro okay, let me finish. It was probably the first episode, and I remember Allie's character, Sid, saying that like when she first morphed, she said pink my favorite color and I'd like to ask like how did she feel how did you feel when you actually got that line I owned it I, hey! felt, yeah. Yeah. I was I was thrilled to be the pink ranger I mean I grew up watching Mighty Morphin and Kimberly I loved Kimberly so I was honored to wear yeah. pink also, oh, pink, I take it pink's your favorite Pink color. is my favorite color. <laughs> like, line. Sid and I are one and the same. Just don't, don't get that it's confused. It's so true, though. <laughs> yeah. right. oh, well, I like pink, too, but I mean, well, I don't, I just, well, yes, I love pink. I love pink. Hey, man, how are you? Greetings, Rangers. Rich uh, from Rich Sticks, Stuck in the Nerd. How are you guys doing? Hello. A uh, couple quick questions. One, since... The year 2025 is coming close, and oh. since, since it's based in 2025, which rangers will you think will be collabing with you guys in that timeline? Oh. That would be really cool if they actually that would thought be about cool. that. Yeah, Greg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's in due time. In due it's time. a tricky question. Get Greg yeah. Hey, I'm it. out. I'm out. <laughs> Saban took it back and was like, no, no Disney people. So. Oh, there you yeah, go. but it, honestly, if, like he doesn't really, uh, I, like, I don't really well, care about us. Um, I know. But it isn't Hasbro. <laughs> well, yeah, I think well, well, no, Hasbro has it now, yeah. so there yeah. could be a whole new thing. Yeah. And that, but honestly, that's up to you guys, because 
if they know that that like look what Boom Studios has done, knowing that they have an audience like yeah. you guys. Oh yeah, they're great. that didn't exist when our series came out, and now you guys have like you guys made a movie happen yeah, for you. You guys have a lot of power, so so like. We'll see what, what happens. Yeah. But I would say my prediction is that by 2025, there's going to be a series, a season of Rangers where Kelson plays every character. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm, and I'm officially down for that. That would be cool. <laughs> and second quick question. Do you guys play Smash? And if you do, who you main? Play what? Super <laughs> Smash Brothers. Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> <No. laughs> I don't know what that is. I just, I, we're all old, I think. Uh, yeah. I play Yoshi. We're good. <laughs> all right. Thank you, man. I play all right. chess. Next question. Do not. I play Legacy Wars. <laughs> but my character's not on there, so. Um, so my question's for Greg. Um, jumping uh, uh, like back at a question about um, a, uh, B Squad Red originally trying to be a woman. How do you think the dynamics within the team had been different if Red had been a woman, uh, particularly maybe with Sky. Uh, and would, and <laughs> That's did a you, good question. <laughs> and did you envision her to follow the same arc as Jack did at, and quit at the end, or would it have been something different? Well, I, I think it, that the whole um, Jack Z thing would have been similar because we really wanted to do the you know kids from the street trying to do the right thing. Um, the, the Sky story would have been different you know I, like I don't think it, it would have been um, the the conflict of having to follow because we would have went with the stronger woman like the, you know what I mean we wouldn't have put it so much in question but mm -hmm. but I think she still would have been uh, would have come into the fold from the trouble of not knowing where she belonged if there was a female Red Ranger, think about how much stronger the team would have been. Let me just say that. <laughs> like, sh shit would have like gotten that shade. Done. Like, you look you know, at me, like, direct shade. I'm well, right here, Allie. I can hear you. Sky, <laughs> I would have kept him in line. I don't think you did a very good job with that. Just <laughs> when was Sky ever out of you know, But you know what? I think Allie's mad at me, guys. Like, <laughs> I mean, at then me? you could have had some, like, crossover tension between Cat. And that, like, that would have been an interesting <laughs> dynamic. Are you for talking real, about for, a cat fight? No, I didn't. I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I saw what you did there. Oh. <laughs> Hi, my, my name's Sean from Minden, Nevada. Uh, I'm an aspiring actor and aspiring Power Ranger. So I was curious: uh, Do you typically study the performances of the Sentai actors? We, we, we looked at it extensively. <laughs> the, only, the only actor I study is Brandon J. McLaren. Is who? Is Brandon J. McLaren. <laughs> I, no, we you know, all we, went to the school. We did of, watch uh, some of the Japanese of footage, though, initially. Mm -hmm. Bruce uh, took us all into his office and showed us the bathtub scenes. <laughs> <laughs> there are. There's, there are, there are there's a lot of bathtub scenes. There are bathtub well, scenes yeah, I the, think the, decor, the pink ranger likes to take baths. She just took a lot of baths all the time. <laughs> and then we were like, so is uh, Alex? Are you going to be doing that? And Bruce said no. And then I left the room. That's how that went. Anyway, thanks, man. Next question. Okay. Um, I wanted to know if there was anything that got cut from the show or maybe you thought happened in the future the uh, in your characters' lives um, that you wanted to make official. Um, yeah. It, I don't... There was a few episodes that we watched and we were like, whoa, there's a lot of stuff that was shot that I didn't see, but I can't, I can't remember it right now. In terms of from DECA to no, us? I think or? stuff that we shot that oh, didn't make the yeah, cut. Yeah, I mean, but only, only scenes, like, because you have to cut everything down to the 22 minutes, so sometimes we would film stuff to give more character development or a little more action, and then it was just too long, so it would have to get clipped out. But there was nothing... Um, you know, we, we were so tight trying to get everything in that we didn't film any, like, entire storylines that didn't make it in. Right. You know what should have been cut? <laughs> <laughs> Remember that, that thing? It was in the crossover when it's like, no one gets inside. Yeah. And we each repeated, no one gets inside. And there was like 17 of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Every person said that. Yeah, I, who I probably could have cut that. <laughs> who edited that? Who edited that? I think that was the opposite problem. They were like, this episode is five minutes too short. Like, what can we add in here? <laughs> Let's get them all saying it twice. Thanks for your Thank question, you. man. Thank you. All right. Good question. Next. We're running out of time. Let's go fast. 
Okay. Hey guys, my name is Kevin. First guy, I say shout out to the fellow Canadians on the panel. Hey. Oh, hey. Canada, Canada all the way. Um, I gotta ask, um, if you guys were to be any MMPR Power Ranger, or original Power Ranger, who would you guys be? Jack Landers. <laughs> Well, now if we say something different, we look like the idiots. <laughs> yeah, Jack Landers. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, next question. <laughs> hey, guys, thanks very much for an amazing series. Um, quick question for Matt, really. Has the, its buttery line haunted you as much as it's haunted me since I put this on? <laughs> Sorry, say, say it's, uh, buttery line. Has the its you. buttery line haunted you as much as it haunts me since I put this on? <laughs> Why do people ask you to say it? Yeah. 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 Um, no, I, I like it. I think it's, it's cool. It's like this. Also, this pin that Greg made is flashy, man. It's it's a it's some it's a bit some buttery, buttery bling. What's the genesis of buttery, Matt? What was the genesis of buttery? I don't remember. The, I, okay, so I the, wanted more I screen time. No, <laughs> no, no, the the what actually happened is that uh, we all went out um, for uh, East Indian food in the in where we were shooting, oh, yeah. and we had and I went, and it was the first time I ever had the delicious butter chicken. Oh, Bruce man. wasn't there. Um, the other right, co-producer, right. co-writer, and he uh, and he was just like, "Oh, how did I miss? Did it, what did I miss out on? How was it?" And I was just like, "It was buttery." Yeah. And then, and like three weeks later, we're doing a read, and like I'm eating toast oh, with like yeah. Monica, and I'm like, "What the hell?" And then it just popped up like a bunch of times. Well, it was the hand motion that sold it. If you just said, "Oh, it was buttery," but but you were like, "It was buttery," and that just really stuck with us, wow. you know. And I like it when my kids do it. It's really funny. They do it? Yeah. But they do it to taunt me. <laughs> Thank you, man. All right, next question. Hi, I'm Matt. I'm a Digi Justin. No. no, my real name is Brian. I'm a huge fan. I'm from Pennsylvania. Uh, my question is like really, really serious. Okay, you ready? How would Doggy Kruger look with a man bun? I think you look fantastic. <laughs> Didn't he have dreadlocks? Yeah, I mean, he had yeah, the, he the short dread. I think he could pull it off. Yeah. If, okay. if there was anyone on the show that could pull it off, he would have pulled it off. Kruger had strong dread. jaw. He could, yeah. Yeah, he could pull off anything, I think. Doggy, I feel like, but if, he, many, if we did looks. that, then, then Piggy would have had to have, like, the goatee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Next question. Bonnie. All right. You guys mean a lot to me. You were the last season that my sister and I watched together, and uh, we both agreed on one thing. Matt, you're beautiful, and you still are today. Huge crush on you. You're making Chris very jealous. Um, Chris, I actually have a question for Chris. How was it being on Star Trek, and how similar is it to being on, you know, a Star Deck to being in a Megazord? <laughs> Well, it was, it was uh, a little bit more interesting shooting. It was a lot faster paced. Um, a lot more trick, a lot more tricks. To... <laughs> I'll, let my, I'll let my guy take care of that. Um, no, it was, it was cool. It was, um, you know, it was, it was just really fast paced. And I mean, you know, when you think about it, in our season, which when Greg talks about losing time and shooting, it's when you have five characters and each character's got to talk, it's like a five shot, a two shot, a three shot, a single. Whereas, you know, if you, if you blinked and you missed me on Discovery, because I was just going, yes, Captain. Firing missiles, Captain. <laughs> you know, the, the, the core's at 100%, Captain. And, and the, you know, I was, it was, I was a principal really? character, but it was, it was, yeah, it was just fast-paced, really fast-paced. You know, two cameras just constantly moving and flashing lights at you, and you just got to know when you, you got to say your line. <laughs> I, I will say that after you died, I stopped watching. I actually technically didn't die. <laughs> Where'd you go? I don't know. They just like, kind of were like, oh, well, I guess uh, the cores will run fine without him. We don't even <laughs> Downsizing. If Picard can come back, I feel like you could come back. Right? Yeah, you know. There you go. Well, right, Star Trek. Thank exactly. you very much. Hey, that Thank guy, Bridge Wheaton, needs right. to come back. We got, a, we got the last Who's few questions what? here. Let's go fast. <laughs> Hi, uh, just, just a wee question. I always thought A Squad was kind of interesting as a concept, but one of the things, and obviously for whatever reason, there wasn't really much time to get much thoughts to it. But to me, what was most interesting is they didn't appear to be like coerced or brainwashed or anything like some of the other Evil Rangers. And I was wondering what kind of thoughts she had on what maybe motivated them to turn, turn their backs on SPD and Earth, I suppose. 
They're just tired of putting up with crews. <laughs> you know what? I want to talk to Boom Comics about uh, writing a standalone issue about that. That's a... <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> get, get into that uh, in depth. But I think that um, they weren't brainwashed or anything. I think they made a choice. And the reason why we didn't really get into that storyline is because it was only there to fortify how awesome these guys were. <laughs> so we didn't want to make it like where Grum tricked them or something because it would lessen the fact that the B squad really chose to do the right thing. Awesome. All right, fast. Hi, CJ from North Carolina. I wanted to know what did you guys think was unique about your season that other seasons perhaps did not offer? Because I think SPD was definitely one of the more serious seasons compared to some of the other iterations of Power Rangers. So I just wanted to see what your thoughts were on what your season had that others didn't. <laughs> what? I don't know, Greg. <laughs> Uh, I thought our I season think, was oh. more mature <laughs> and had real life issues and I think the chemistry amongst the cast, we all really got along well in person. So I think that really translated to the, you know, on the screen. Well, we were, we were all transplanted to New Zealand together. So yeah. just that experience alone, I think, yeah. was interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know how it's worked for everyone else, but it seems like more people are coming from the same areas. We were all coming. Yeah. It, like, was, it was just a perfect balance of like, you know, the story and the, the problems and the arcs that we had as characters, they were mature enough for an older crowd. And, you know. and that was Bruce's first season too, right? <laughs> yes. right? So I think they really wanted to put their stamp on it too and sort of like try to like, like how can they be different? Yeah, you guys don't know how before. much Greg did on top of what he had to do. Yeah. Like, yeah. He came into the show and was like, yeah. I want to inject some new stuff and like, he were like, it, yeah. So yeah, they, yeah, yeah we'd finish shooting yeah. and he'd be then he'd be the start working at there, more. Like, yeah. stuff and like, <laughs> I think like, that is one of the big differences. Mm -hmm. it's just yeah, there so was just a lot on. of new energy. Like everyone was really excited and I think I wanted to try and do something different and then that made everyone else really excited and uh, I, I just think if all the other seasons everyone was putting in 100%, for some reason on SPD, everyone put in like 250% and it just really ended up showing up on the on the final product. Even like the the aliens that were like you know in the BG and whatnot. I remember it was like you know, you were actually doing the prosthetics, and some of these people would sit in chairs for like an hour to get done, <laughs> <laughs> as opposed to like no, we'll just put a, a cone on their head, and paint it blue, <laughs> you know, or paint it yellow. It was actually like prosthetics that they actually sat through, and it was all his doing. Yeah, it was a little nutty, but it was uh, I, I would do it again in a heartbeat, and I wouldn't wouldn't change anything. I mean, it was Aww. it was a. Uh, <laughs> like a 24-7 crazy thing because we would uh, like have meetings for the writing and then I'd go on set and direct and then everyone would rap and then I'd go home and sculpt aliens. Sometimes I had like clay alien sculptures in the back of my car. One time this guy jumped in and kicked one and I had to start <laughs> over because he smashed the clay. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then I'd like get there early in the morning and go in and do the prosthetics and then go back on set and direct and but it, uh, I don't know, I think it was awesome. So, That's right. All right. let's do it again sometime. Right. I'm gonna do, I have one question for myself here. Yeah. Did you ever consider having Kelson be the sixth ranger instead of a ball of light? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that ball of light, man. <laughs> Sam. Sam. Well, I mean, Kelson kind of had his own thing going on and we really had to fit in Omega Ranger and Omega was, you know, clearly a different, character from a different time um the ball of light thing it, it, it's i know you guys hate hearing this but it was just a budget thing they <laughs> said absolutely no more actors and we were like well what if it was an alien prosthetic with a stunt guy and they were just like no because we need the stunt guys to do all the you know second unit stuff um so we basically had like one day of a voiceover actor and we, we, the ball of light thing came. i know it's <laughs> stupid but it was it was either that or no omega ranger and we had to have a Mega Ranger. So. He's just saying that to be nice. I, I had an act off with the Ball of Light and the Ball of Light won. <laughs> oh, that, that settles it then. All right, well, last few questions here. So, um, I, I, know I'm some, I'm, yeah, I know I'm supposed to go fast, but I got three questions, so just it's cool, it's with cool, me. man. Try to go fast. Okay. So, uh, I'm Getcha, and uh, I was wondering, because in the Operation Overdrive special, I know that that uh, bridge is SPD red in that. So does it happen where it's kind of like an assembly line where more and more rangers go up to the red ranger as it goes along? Or does it like loop around or like, how exactly does that work? <laughs> That's a very good question. Uh, how does the morphin grid work? When did I become commander? I just don't know. 
Well, I mean, SPD wise, it's more of a military type installation. So right, you right. kind of like just rise up in the ranks depending on your performance and, and your ability and it's your... a meritocracy, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh. Nice. Okay. So um, last year, I saw something on this probably illegal site where. <laughs> Uh, where is this going? Called, this sounds it good, was, yeah. <laughs> where is this going? It was from the series called, like, uh, Uku Sinti uh, Q-Ranger. But, like, I know in uh, Q-Ranger it was with some other weird, obscure thing called uh, Gaven. But, like, I recognize from the helmets you guys were probably in that. Oh. So, I was wondering, um, they say in it that in their universe, the Q-Rangers, they don't, they don't have any cops. So, what, what are your comments on the, on the high crime rate in that universe? <laughs> <laughs> I think we know the answer. I don't know. That's that's a complicated. Oh God, the answer is we don't that's know. That's a multifaceted do answer. <laughs> I don't know if you have time for that right now. All right. So last one. This is the most important one, which is why I saved it for lap, uh, last. Believe it or not. But um, in the super this guy walks in, Look at this thing this guy is carrying. Is he's walking oh, in trying to be like all <laughs> not, incognito? I know. Yeah. It's, it's, time to leave. Shh, it's like opening chips in a movie theater or a, or a, or a candy and. It, yeah, we don't see He's here to take care of that high crime rate. <laughs> <laughs> There's your answer. So, okay, so this one's the most important one. In the Super Sentai parody series, Akiba Ranger, episode one, the actor for Deca Red, Ryuji Saine, says that he's going to a Power Rangers SPD event, which, first of all, makes no sense because he's a Deca Ranger. What? But what does that mean for the complex lore of Power Rangers and Super Sentai? And because even Deca Red, Red's actor, he plays himself despite being an Akiba Ranger, which isn't even in our universe, because, you know, you know what? that whole Super Sentai stuff. Stop. Stop. So can this, wait, stop. but this is the part that I'm really wondering. Okay. Can this, this be multiple choice? Does this choice? mean that Power Rangers and Super Sentai supports the infinite universe or multiverse theory created in 1952 by Irwin oh, Schrude? That is, pro you know that is, We're at that's time. Yes. Let's prove that. <laughs> yes. Yes. And is it Bernstein Bears or Berenstain Bears? I'd love to answer that, but we're out of time. I'm the sorry. Mandela Effect is yeah, in effect. 42. <laughs> and now, oh, our score. final and most important question of the entire right. panel. Hondo. Can you do your morphs? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Only if everyone does it with us. Everyone up! I don't remember. <laughs> okay, you know it. No, I don't know. Uh -oh. you know it. All right, guys. Uh, thank you. Thank you, fans, yeah, for volunteering. I got, I got, I got. <laughs> no, wait, you I'll guys move out of the way. Everyone up. You guys yeah. got to get out. Yeah, everyone. Right, I need a morph for two. Huh? Are you guys going to morph with us, guys? You guys are morphing with us. Let's do it for us. Let's do it for us. Everybody. Wait, I don't remember it either. <laughs> <laughs> Fans, show them off a little, guys. Show them how to do it. Get Ready? 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 Emergency! Thank you, guys. You guys are the best. All right.